ACE is a research program which is about making anti-corruption real. We have 20 years or more of experience on research and anti-corruption in developing countries, but progress has been painfully slow. It's been slow because developing countries have very powerful interests which stand in the way of rule of law reforms and which make the implementation of anti-corruption very difficult. ACE changes that strategy and we say we need to look for opportunities of real anti-corruption in these very difficult contexts by looking for powerful people, businesses, government agencies, international partners and civil society, coalitions that can fight for anti-corruption in these contexts and make it real. We have four broad strategies. The first is about aligning incentives at a sectoral level. The second is designing for differences across organizations. The third is about building coalitions for anti-corruption. And the fourth is resolving conflicts of rights, which often drive anti-corruption. ACE is working in three dynamic countries, Bangladesh, Nigeria and Tanzania. Now, each of these countries have very different political systems, but they are regionally significant. Uh, the corruption challenge is quite adverse, but it also means there is a lot of opportunities for us to work in those countries and allows us to work comparatively equally. Bangladesh, for instance, in the 1990s, Bangladesh had, a, had very high levels of political competition. It's now moving towards more of a dominant party system, but growth is still very high in Bangladesh. And we are hoping that our research actually helps sustain that growth and take it further. Tanzania, quite different from Bangladesh. Tanzania was, uh, uh, had a dominant party system for a while. It's now moving to a multi-party democracy. The current government was actually voted in with a mandate to carry on anti-corruption reforms. And as researchers, that allows us to work well in a country like Tanzania. Now Nigeria. Nigeria is usually in the news for all the wrong reasons, but actually it is Africa's largest economy with a tremendous amount of enterprise. And we hope that our reforms can actually unlock more sources of that enterprise. And working with us in each of these local contexts are some local partners who are embedded in the local economy. And ACE, the ACE Consortium actually also includes a couple of international partners who have long years of experience working in anti-corruption contexts. In countries where the enforcement of the rule of law is very difficult, ACE has developed a new feasible approach to anti-corruption reform. We will start looking at specific economic sectors and the type of corruption processes that are affecting their development. We will be working on four broad areas, including infrastructure, electricity generation, manufacturing, agriculture, but also critical public service delivery, including health, skills development, climate change, media. For example, in the agricultural sector in Tanzania and Nigeria, the government has been making significant investment in various fertilizer schemes to support farmers to improve their productivity. Unfortunately, lots of these resources have been diverted and captured by different players. ACE will be collecting new evidence to reform these schemes, improve the policies, and finally, ultimately, improving the outcome in these sectors and also the conditions of people in these countries.